All I have to do is say, wow. <laughs> and this is gonna be saying a lot because I order a lot of these. I actually go ahead and repair them and fix them. But this is the worst packing I have seen to date. And that's saying a lot. I order cassette decks, reel to reels. I order VHS decks, whatever I can fix pretty much. And I've seen a lot of bad packing. This here is literally the worst I had seen to date. I never seen anyone literally just shove a deck in a box that's clearly undersized and just ship it. <laughs> it's like, what the fuck were they thinking? I guess they're trying to get the medium flat weight. <laughs> but if obviously the item don't fit in the box, what makes you think you ship it? The sad thing about it is they're the ones that are actually going to lose money when I go and open up the case because obviously now, if it wasn't for parts already, it definitely is for parts now. <laughs> There's no way I can see this surviving. I'll be shocked and the only way I can see it surviving was that the carrier was just very careful and didn't bounce it around or anything like that. But you can clearly see where it's bent it and everything like that. You do not ship an item like this. I mean, I've seen some pretty bad packing. I've seen people use, you know, barely no packing. I've seen boxes undersized and anything like that. i never seen one that was actually both. This has to be the worst packing I have seen to date. I mean, unbelievable. So I guess this will probably be likely a case for eBay. But I'm going to go and open it up and see, obviously... If the deck even survived and what damage the deck took. Here's it out of the box. Let's go ahead and inspect for the damage. And you can kind of see right there where it's damaged. And we'll go and just look over and you can see some scuffing and scratches right there. Damn, shot this thing correctly. My other one did. Be honest with you, I'm quite impressed that this thing actually somewhat survived. Honestly, I was expecting this thing to be in pieces. Let's just go ahead and look in the back. Fortunately, I'm not going to be able to take it apart because this is definitely going back to the cellar. <laughs> yeah, there you go. It's caved right there. That's where it took the hit, probably where the box was bent it in. But in all honesty, I'm quite impressed this thing survived better than what I would have expected it to. And there's no pieces rattling inside, too, on top of it. But please use common sense. I know common sense is not so common, but don't ship like this. You know what I mean? If the item don't fit in the fucking box, doesn't mean you go ahead and shove the thing into a box till it fits and then you still ship it anyway. So... This concludes the video.